Oh, we go. Good evening and welcome to the panel select board uh, regular meeting Thursday September 3rd 2015 tonight on the agenda is agenda approval minutes from 8 2015 warrants mail new business blacktop bids set the tax rate and solar fields on town properties in old business tonight we have salt shed architectural RFP and the town office walkway uh, what is your pleasure on this gentleman? Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes from uh, 8 2015. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I abstain. Aye. As I was not here. Warrants. We had two from, we had a special meeting in a oh, regular? Yes, we did. Uh, that's right. We did have a special meeting also on that. So uh, I move to approve the special, special meeting. Special meeting. A date? August, August 20th. August, yeah. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Okay. Warrants. First warrant up tonight is a uh, is it accounts payable in the amount of ten thousand five hundred seventy eight dollars and twenty five cents. Second warrant is a payroll warrant in the amount of seven thousand twenty four dollars and fifty seven cents. And that was uh, period uh, 8.30 to 9.4.15. The third warrant is a payroll warrant from 8.23 to 8.28, the amount of $7,517.57. And the uh, last warrant is accounts payable. The amount of $22,075.23. Um, looking for no, no big items. There was just, well, health insurance, and uh, that's always big. <laughs> but that was the big one. Just yep. ignore that. Health insurance. And is this another warrant? Here. Yeah. Payroll warrant. Payroll warrant uh, from 9-1 to 9-4, the amount of $234.71. Those are your warrants, gentlemen. Move to approve. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 I have to abstain. I got payroll in there. Okay. In the mail. Uh, we have a letter from FEMA here about the flood maps and the flood insurance program. Uh, I'm sure you've all read it. It uh, just says that we are in compliance. Uh, the planning board will be sending us something to have a joint meeting with them where somebody's going to come and actually talk about the new FEMA maps and stuff. Okay. Just give you a heads up, but that's really what they're referring right. to. Right. So it'll be a joint meeting so we both get a better understanding. Then we have a uh, letter in here from Tom Shuey, the panel transfer station supervisor. He's got a proposal for a new prop propane provider and the installation of a new heater at the transfer station office. Um, I guess the one that's there now is not serviceable. It's so old and it's not know, up to code. Not up to code, etc. I would move that we go ahead and approve. What was the amount that he said? The amount was. Uh, for the uh, furnace and everything was one thousand four hundred and one dollars and seventy eight cents. I move that we go ahead and approve it so it meets code and inspection. But we do have ocean arrest inspecting those places now. Okay, got a motion. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Alrighty.
the funds for that will come out of the transfer station building funds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Linda, do you want that? We had a uh, safety inspection for the Pownal Hydro Dam by our safety officer, Frank Lamb. Uh, the condition of the dam, the water flow was moderate. Uh, there was some debris on the dam. The area around the dam is clear. Um, no signage. Uh, the condition of floats and cable that are preceding the dam are good. Uh, they're in place. And um, the condition of the powerhouse building is good. Security is locked. Um, any changes? No. Um, the gate works and the locks are secure and uh, so that has been inspected and we got a report here for the zoning administrator five verifications I think that's what that says five permits and uh, three three what went to the DRB yes uh, subdivisions or yeah, yeah from, it, no, it's, to it's, the DRB. Yeah, it's DRB. Whatever okay. they were, but they went to the DRB to be handled. A uh, total of 13 applications received. Tune into the planning board and you'll hear more detail. And then we have a letter from Mr. Sullivan from the BCRC. It's a newsletter uh, along with, uh, there's two public meetings that are coming up. And uh, one of them... The first one is in Manchester, September 17th at the Manchester Town Office at 6 p.m. The second one is in Bennington on September 30th at the Bennington Museum at 6.30 p.m. on Main Street. They're going to explore data, review maps, and discuss all that good stuff. This is in relation to the DRB, isn't that what this is along with that? Or no? Energy, right? Yes, energy. So they're going to Renewable go energy development. And our delinquent tax report for the property taxes, uh, $187,233.81 in delinquent taxes. And for the sewer tax, the delinquent amount is $38,673.43. If I recall correctly, she also sent us a notice that she was putting more up for tax sale not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So she's moving forward and trying to collect some of that. Okay. If you can at all make arrangements to pay up, that would be great. That's the mail. Your thoughts on that, gentlemen? It's fine. Move on. Move on. Uh, could we take them a little out of order? Because I know sometimes when we get into the bidding process, that takes a while. In uh, new business, you want to uh, flip? Yeah. Do you just start from the bottom up? Or okay. Something? Well, then let's do that. Let's. Well, I think probably the viewers would probably be interested in the tax rate first. So All let's. Right. Um, the tax rate has been set. The town general tax is 0 0.2148. Local agreement state education tax is 0 0.0031. The road tax uh, is 0. 0.2101 for a total municipal tax rate of 0 0.4280. That is up slightly, I believe. No, it's minus. Minus. Yeah. The total. Oh yeah, here it is. Total municipal is minus 0.77. Okay. Of, of a cent. Okay. The uh, sewer bond flat tax rate per parcel developed. Seventy-six dollars, undeveloped thirty-eight. Stayed the same. Mm -hmm. State education tax, homestead, is one thousand, or, or excuse me, no, one point three nine three seven. Non-residential is one point four four five nine. 
um, which Homestead went up 1.66 cents and now residential went up 1.70 cents. Okay. Um, the total town plus the state, you, you, okay, you did that, the homestead rate. For the state education tax, homestead rate, I see, is 1.8217. What does that mean in parentheses, bond? That's the 76 developed property. If you if you own a developed property, you're paying that sewer bond of mm -hmm. 76 plus. So, so on top of your taxes. On top of your taxes. And uh, non-residential rate is 1.8739. Plus the bond. Right. The, yeah. the homestead went up uh, for the total tax with town and education, went up 0.89 cents. And the uh, non-residential went up 0.06 cents. Mm -hmm. Uh, the actually uh, the town general fund, the local agreement, education, and the town road fund all went down this year, but the educational funds went up, and because of that, it's the reason why you have the plus rates a little higher than they were the year before. Just so people know where where it comes from. And just as a reminder, too, your taxes will be due on November 10th, 2015. Um, so make sure you have your payment ready for that. Okay, um, the solar fields on... Oh, I have to take a motion, I, yes. I'll move that we set the tax rate as read. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Uh, as most of you know, if you watched the last meeting, we had a uh, gentleman come down uh, and talk about a solar project on the wastewater treatment facility property uh, that is a brownfield. You can't really do anything on it. Uh, you can't have any type of uh, building or anything um, activity on there. So we're looking into possibly putting uh, a solar field down there. Uh, the town stands to generate some income annually. Uh, there's a lease agreement on the property. Um, gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, do you have any comments on this as far as the wastewater treatment facility? From what the, the key, I think, is, is that they're offering also the same electrical rate, the net meter rate, to uh, the other agencies in the town, the school, the town, and the wastewater. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, they're not including the fire departments if they want to come in also. Uh, there is a, I forget what they had, 500 kilowatt, was that what they were generating on there? I don't have that information with me. You might have that yeah, in, in, in uh, the packet you have, how much they were actually looking to put on the field. It's not a super large site. So they're not putting in the, you know, the megawatts like you see at the racetrack. This is going to be a, a smaller field, but the, the it's, a five, one. it's a 500 kilowatt solar array on the land of the Pownell Wastewater Treatment Facility Plant. The solar okay. array will generate approximately 800,000 kilowatts of electricity in one year. So, and basically, with all the things that they listed, and I don't have the, the wastewater broken out from the others, uh, this was done in, from April 2013 to March 2014 at the rate uh, billing that I have. It was 725,732 kilowatts. So, again, we would look at that and see where it is. Uh, street lights are not included in it, so that would be removed. And uh, we would have to look at some of the other uh, things to see where we are. But uh, I, my belief seeing this is that we're probably going to deal with the school, the town, and uh, the wastewater and still have some kilowatts that will be available for other solar sites that we might want to come to agreements with on uh, the cap landfill That's at the transfer station. station. Uh, there's actually two landfills there. You might want to look at those because they're not usable for anything else. 
and uh, we would have to uh, look around and see if there isn't some other spaces that might be reasonable to site some of these solar uh, places on. I uh, met with a gentleman by the name of James Holtzman uh, from Clean Energy Design Group who was uh, interested in the uh, transfer station property. Again, that is um, property that you cannot do anything with and um, we do have a capped landfill down there and the cap cannot be disturbed in any way, shape or form. And it is an ideal situation because there's not a lot of residents around that area. It's pretty well hidden by a tree line. It's backed by uh, some woods, uh, parcel, etc. And the town has a, a chance to reap some income benefits out of land that's just being mowed and cut. Uh, so we're in the preliminary talks with this. We really uh, want to see some, I think, more solid figures of lease agreements. They're looking at a 20-year lease. I think it's with a five-year extension. Two five-year two five -year extensions. Um, and the language, you know, has to be uh, set in stone. And they're going to make a proposal. Uh, I'm going to invite this other company in to make their proposal, and we'll we'll see what develops. But currently, this is just land that. Um, can't do anything with and we have a potential to uh, generate some income for the uh, the town of Pownell so I I think it's a good idea yeah, and we and we should be fair because a lot of the people out there that have talked I know people at the school were and their concerns when they've talked to different people about the solar it the net metering process you don't really make a whole lot of money off of the net meter agreements you have you end up making a few thousand a year but you do make money off of leasing your land, which yep. is a little more. And that's where we need to uh, be sure that uh, we're getting all of our I's dotted and T's crossed. And, uh, and I'm not sure if we can't improve on the rate that they're trying to set us at for the 20 years. Uh, and those are the things I think that we need to work on a little more. And of course, uh, once you have a contract, that has all that stuff in it, we'll have to make sure legal looks at it to make sure that we're protected Absolutely. for those 20 years. Absolutely. We, one of the things that they made clear in their verbal discussions with us is that they pay for everything, they're responsible for everything, and they're responsible for maintaining and, and so forth. Well, we just want to make sure, as I said, all the I's and T's across and that we don't have any liability other than the fact that we're leasing land to them. And we had also uh, stressed that should the lease terminate in that uh, 30 years that it, and they no longer want it or in 15 years they pull out that the land gets restored back to its original state. state. So uh, Linda, do you have a copy of this here at the town office? Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a copy uh, of this down at the town office for any interested um, parties out there that would like to look at it, um, please feel free to come down and ask Linda to view the copy. And, was, um, question, and was, the, was the, there was a question about three phase. They need three phase, though. Yeah. Yes, was they have it, to be is, able to hook is there in. three phase on Maple Grove Road? Uh, well, you you do have the, it, not on Maple Grove Road, but not yeah. extremely far from it. You have the high tension yeah. lines right down there, which... Uh, when these people give you the proposals, they'll look, look at all that, and they'll give you a, the quote based on what it's going to cost them to run the three well, phase. Well, that, that's what's going to uh, end up with the value of your leased land. Well, from what I've, okay. went with my... Uh, the, the bottom line. Well, I think the key here is when you talk to transfer station mm -hmm. and when we're, what's a better word than rubbish, we're, we're recycling is occurring. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if three phase isn't going to play more into that because Down of the, the compactors and stuff we do and so forth. So even though there might be what we feel not a, as uh, a sweet a deal as we're getting where, where three-phase is, it might be sweetened by the fact of what we might be able to do if somebody runs three-phase right. to our property. And uh, again, we're, we're kind of looking forward, I think. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this would be the first panel. It would be the uh, first brownfield uh, in the state. state of Vermont 
to super fun site super fun site to yeah. use this to uh, generate solar electricity so um, we're kind of on the cutting edge of this but uh, also to Jason answer your question most at least my impression is from the gentleman I have talked to the two gentlemen I spoke with they have already done preliminary homework before they even come to say hey I think we could do something here they've um, searched out maps they've driven the area uh, they've looked at it uh, before the phone calls were even made so I, I don't think if it wasn't feasible we wouldn't have even entertained okay. the calls what, okay. what, what they're doing in, in all these solar companies is that they're basically looking at the the maps whether they're Google or otherwise they're finding where all the super fun sites, uh -huh. landfills, gravel beds, spent gravel beds, and, and things of that nature, because let's face it, they're the easiest for them to get the permit through the permitting process because they have to go through a state permitting process for this as well as the local town uh, approval. So basically, what you're looking at is is the the sweet spots are being tested right now, and we're lucky that this town actually has two or three of those, so we might be able to play some leverage and actually get something. Yeah. So, um, not only do we have the one over here, you cut the one down North Pile from the old Tamry site. So, you know, there's, there's so, um, here's what I'd like to potential. do. Um, I would like to have that gentleman from that I spoke with, Mr. Holtzman, come down uh, to a select board meeting and make a presentation publicly. Uh, we've heard from uh, the, the one outfit here, um, Trilin. yeah, Trilin partners and um, so if it's okay I'd like to put him on the agenda for uh, the week after next is that possible Tom Holtzman 17 yeah <clears throat> get him on the agenda too Fine. okay any other uh, discussion on the uh, solar fields nope. and the town That's properties good. okay let's move to the blacktop bids now and our road foreman, Mr. Casey Madison, front and center, center stage. <laughs> How are you, Casey? Good. How are you doing? Good. Uh, we actually got three bids. Uh, I had four, actually I had four parties interested, but one of them I evidently didn't show up. Uh, one of these uh, bids did not uh, provide a certificate of insurance, so that, I guess, is... So we're down to two? Down to two. There's the two candidates right there. This for tonnage, is that the way you went? 2,085 ton on five different sections of road. 2,085 tons, though. Okay, okay we have uh, Bedoin. Baldwin. Baldwin? Baldwin paving. Okay. Baldwin paving at $78 per ton. $78 per ton? At uh, $162,630. And Pike Industries at eighty-one dollars and fifteen cents per ton, at one hundred and seventy thousand two hundred and fifty-two dollars and seventy cents. Can we go over the roads just briefly? What's being yeah. done? Yeah, we. Are. The list uh, right here is the list. Yeah, here's the list. Just go over briefly in case people. Yeah. Yeah. Want. Okay. Um. Searles Crossing Road, 680 foot by 20 foot, three and a half inches. Man Hill Road, 560 foot, 20 foot wide at 2.5 inches. State Line Drive, 2,200 feet, 20 foot wide at three and a half inches. Old Military Road, 1,075 feet, 20 foot wide at two and a half inches. County Road, 1,000 feet, 20 foot wide two and a half inches and uh, that will cover it okay so we have um, one bid at uh, 78 dollars and one at 81.15 a difference of eight eight thousand and change I have no problem having the both do it okay. at all is that a motion that that's a motion I'll second it yeah. okay, okay. Uh, all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. so uh, Contract has been to Bodwin. Some good work too. Been around a long time. Pretty close to what it was last year. Yeah. It's 
Yep. Okay. Moving to old business. Um, is this okay if we do this in this order? Whichever way you want. All right. You're running the show. Salt shed. <laughs> RFP. There's two uh, quotes. Okay. Proposals. No, uh, nope, the other side there. The other way. And, yep. and this proposal is for them to write an RFP? to write an RFP, a complete RFP. The only thing I think that it's not going to entail is the permit. It's a building. Well, the town's going to deny it. That's I'm going to deny it. And that's something <laughs> we should probably start moving on, whether we, whether, whether well, we decide what, to build it right now or we or right, wait. Right, it's a year. So, well, yes, this, 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 the way we I, I think, this is. I, I, uh, I don't think that's going to happen this fall. Do you? I, no, I'll be well, putting salt in that old building here in about three weeks. Yeah. So. Well, like, I'm, we should talk to you about that so that we can. Let's well, maybe, maybe, let's, maybe, let's see what the RFP. Okay, uh, this is from Col Colito, Velez, Architecture. Uh, salt shed replacement. The new salt shed uh, the, will face north. The new salt shed will be 30 feet wide, 60 foot long, and 16 foot high. They got the footings, three footings, uh, three foot wide and 16 inch thick, and 63 feet long. Concrete wall shall be 12 inches thick um, of the footing and eight foot high with two pieces of rebar. Those are your specs? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, these are all sounds these familiar. Are the specs, these specs. are the specs that we gave him. What's his quote to do this for uh, I'm getting there. Total stipulated sum for architectural engineering services, $8,690. And his name again, okay. which one? Um, I'm not sure what it was. I didn't look in the... Calido. Velez Architectural. Okay, I'm going to put that on top. From where? From Chester, Vermont. Sorry. Chester, Vermont. And this is the second one. Right, I need some personal. She may. Huh? Just Thank you just. <laughs> Again, following the specs, A.J. Frey, Construction Management, LLC, in Bennington, Vermont. Provide one complete set of stamped engineered plans for 20, 24 uh, by 36 of P PDF files. The town can be reproduced as needed for a total contract of Two thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. No problem. I'm sure Nelson will block this one. <laughs> so we have quite a. Uh, <laughs> Were you talking about the high price level? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> quite a. Uh, it's a thirty by sixty building for salt storage. Provide final plans, foundation plan, floor plan, elevations. Building sections as detailed as required, mechanical notes for bidding purposes, specification outline, bid form preparation for general contractors, and construction bid uh, review. So we have one for $2,880 and one for $8,690. That will provide the same exact thing. Because that's exactly I, the way I it's would called. move that we go with the, the one for $2,880. No indifferent. And, and, I'll tell, and the thing with me. Facing north. Well, the other question was, which way are we facing the building? It says you just read facing this one north. And, and this the, one I the said the facing. Opening north. of the building isn't it isn't exactly north, but it's almost uh, exactly north. So it, when they pull in with a, a dump trailer or a triaxle, when they pull ahead, they just back race straight yeah. up into the. So the building. building we have right now faces which way? Faces almost east. I was going to say it's almost east. <laughs> The, basically, northeast, but, but uh, no, more east than north. Gotcha. I'm going to get back to what, what these people are doing. You're going to 
when they do the sketch, they're going to sketch a building whether you move it this way or this right, way or right, what, what right. way it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. What they're going to do is give you some specs to draw from on what it is. And what, well, I, and what I'm making a motion for is just that to go ahead and get these specs. Even if we can't do it now, if when we are ready to do it, you're going to have the well, specs to well, just Well, you're going to have them anyways. That's right. Okay, at least that's where it seems that's though, what, that's where we stand, right? And that's why I made my motion I mean, to go okay. with the low bid and get them okay. drawn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree. And I second it. So the low bid is A.J. Frey, Construction Management. Fry. Fry. Fry, excuse me, in uh, Bennington, Vermont. So, uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Let's get them drawn up. Yeah, and we can go to bed and see what it really is. Oh, no, no. That, that's that's yeah. going to start telling us what, how much of this you need. Thanks. That's good. Good job. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll move my papers here. You know, sometime if you have time, uh, get a couple of the corners, just drive a couple of wood stakes in or something like that. So if these guys want to see how the building is. You know, you don't, I don't, I'm not telling you the measures out to the... Well, no, it's got to it's got to be dug back before it can actually set any well, stakes. You get the back, back when I can get back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, town office walkway. There is, uh, we've been trying to do this now for some time. Got a hole right there. And uh, we, we put it out to bid and we didn't get any response on it the first time, if I'm not mistaken. No. Okay. No, no, no. And no? We, we has not gone out to bid. Okay. It has not gone out. I thought, no, I thought we had put it out to bid once and did not get a response. Yeah, we didn't get it. An overhang. I thought that was just for the overhang. And a okay. ramp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there, it okay. was a wooden ramp. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Jason, so I'll, I, I can I'll kind of explain to you where we are. Um, last week we looked at a, uh, a metal rampway, uh, 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 pre-manufactured, installed. Um, it was very expensive. Um, RJ made a suggestion we look at concrete. Um, we ha did have someone come in. Uh, look at it. What we did find is that we need more um, than just a ramp alongside the building here. We need a we need an ADA uh, approved um, ramp to go from this side of the building here all the way out to the side of Center Street. Or the, due to the, the elevations. To um, the Center Street or to where we park. To the to the Center Street right there, the edge of the. Uh, I call it the roadway. Our, park, no, our roadway. Yeah, our park, our park because you have to be where it's level. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's the office. Yeah. Right. Because people will right. think we're going down to the. Um, no, no, no. It was noted too the contractor um, did, you know, he did shoot some elevations. The the front of the building right now we have our steps are in um, deplorable condition. Mm -hmm. um, he recommended that we remove them. There are there are one piece poured um, uh, yeah, steps. They're, they're, they, they don't meet code, um, they're rough shape, and the building, that little bit of a uh, enclosure around them is in rough shape also, that should also be removed. So um, I, we did get some, uh, we got an idea of what it will cost. Um, the other thing we need also would be railings, um, a two rail railing, the full length. Um, That'd so be all the way to the road also? Oh, yes. Both yes, sides or just one side? Just one side. So, and, Penny, for, and for every for every 30 feet, I believe it's every 30 feet or every 20 feet, you have to have a landing. I mean, there's a very specific code for um, um, the American yep. Disabilities Act on um, handicap accessibility. Yeah. How about the railing? Is there any spe specifications? <coughs> oh, yes, there is. No, yes, I'm not is. talking height. I'm talking construction material. Yes, it's steel. The, the, they use a steel welded. Um, what they would do after they pour the cement, they'd come in and core a hole set the railing and then they epoxy it. Okay. Um, prime it and paint it. And does this reflect that? With no, the... it doesn't. Um, we have to go out for bid. I'm estimating it's probably going to be in the fifteen dollars to $16,000 range. Complete? Complete. The only thing we would have to do is um, topsoil when we're done and remove the old blacktop sidewalk that's here. We could do that, um, correct? We did. I looked at it with Casey um, prior to the meeting, and um, something we did, we'd have to plan, coordinate, is that they wouldn't be able to. We'd have to have one entrance open, while they, you know, we, if they're going to work on that one there, this one would have to be open mm -hmm. and accessible. Mm -hmm. Well, we they can't tie up two entrances at the same time. We'd have to coordinate that. It have to be done completely before November 10th, 
or after directly within a couple weeks so that people can come in and pay the taxes. But it will require um, some uh, material to be brought up out in the front yard here to get it to slope, to right to the right slope. So. Okay, so um, uh, do you have any questions? Yeah. Are we going to bring one up to this door here? This one, can we yeah. shoot off the other one because we're going to remove the step? Because that way we would have two and, uh, uh, entrances. What are you we talking about? One. Two handicap? Yeah. Now, one of the things, that I guess what you're saying, and it's right because of cold, we talk about cold because of how bad the entrance is out there with yeah, the steps. Yeah, right. so you're going to remove it. And I, but I agree. Completely, and they would pour a new set of steps yeah. with a railing, what, just a railing. Okay. What, so what, you have your two exits from the building. Right. Yeah. That's key. What, uh, okay. My handicap? Oh, yeah. No. no. That would be steps. No. But that this would, one would be handicapped, that one would, that would be. I understand it would be steps there. But all I'm saying is, is, is that could but it we, would be. Could we have that shot because you're coming up on landings? You're right. That would be the ADA code. In other words, the rise of the stair of the of the treads, the steps, and would the be land. the ADA. And what happens is the way the the, ste the way the steps are now, they would have to go out farther yeah. to be the proper height <coughs> of the treads. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, <coughs> if you shot this from this ramp, uh, sidewalk. Yep. Sideways. Oh, sideways or whatever angle you're going to come off from to that step because you're building a new step. I, I understand, uh, but the, there's regulations there. It's one inch per foot. Well, the, right? uh, I don't know what, that. Is he I, talking I, about grade? No, uh, yeah, you're right with that, but well, I'm saying, I don't know if you can do it or let, not. Let me, it's a question. They did. They came. He, they, we did have a contractor come in and shoot it. Okay. Shot elevations, and it can be done. Huh? It can be done. Well, okay. Okay, well, basically what, what, I, what I think you're saying is, here's the town right. office, here's the church, this is going to be the handicap route up to the town office. That's right, okay? right here. Yep. here here's the, the walkway over to the church yep. that's going to come off of this, I assume. Yep. Yes, they would have to actually, they would have to build from where it goes out, they would have to build, I believe, 10 feet of new sidewalk to meet the church okay. one to make grade. And then you would come... I think what I you're think saying what you, is... is Make a handicap ramp to the front door also. Oh, right? to, to, to the well, front door also. Right. I mean, well, that means well, well, what, you, what you're saying is come off, but come off of this. Don't so, have two come up through the from the no, front. No, 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 no. Have this no. come up. Take oh, right come off, off our, of, right off this uh, ramp. Yep, and come off again from there and go over here for this entrance. That's right. And I guess the you know, some of the handicap route, you've got to have a platform when you come up the steps before you even go in the door. That's right. So maybe you want the steps to come up, go on your platform, and then go in. Okay. Versus steps, otherwise they got to go around a U. They could. Okay. I mean, this way here, I think, uh, the way he, the way this gentleman explained it, this was our was our least cost. Yeah. Uh, the, the way to do it without well, spending a lot of money in this building, <coughs> hoping you know, see, we're probably going to be out of it. In, I mean, here's the way I look at it. I, I would like to see us go ahead with this because then it puts us in compliance, which yeah. we are not now. That's right. Um, and I would recommend tearing that uh, little entranceway down and putting new steps in there. So we have a step-up entrance, which you said would meet the ADA standards, yes. and we have a hand total yes. handicapped accessible ramp. Right. Okay, so I, I, I think, um, I mean, because we don't know how long we're going to be in this building. It, it could be two years, five years, ten years, who knows. Um, but we, so. we have to do something. Okay. It sounds it sounds like uh, we've got a good plan together. Well, what we want to do. Right. All, uh, all I'm saying is, is for the cost, the way it sounds, what you just said, for that little bit of extra cost. It's nothing. <laughs> uh, and and here's where you're at. This ramp here is done to come to this part of this building. You still need one for the other part. Yeah. Well, you need it, it has to be repaired. Yes, well, it is. You have to have um, no, no. You still have to have a you, walkway. You still have to have. You're only. You're only. This walk. This entrance for yeah. handicap. It's only for this room. No. Well, not, no. Well, no. I'm it's not into so the sure building. I'm not so sure if it fits. We might have to. And then if you should have, then you're. Well, I don't want to. Dump yeah, that's, that's not a three-o door. That's not a three-o door. Yeah, that has there, to be three foot. I just think that that would make a answer the problems that we are yeah. dealing with at this particular time. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, 
all buildings that have handicapped access doesn't allow the wheelchair to access everywhere. Some people have to go where the person is. Oh, yeah. So, and it's set up that way. Right. So, so I think we can meet the code to that standard. The, the key okay. that I think we need to do is to make sure that we have safety, safe, safely accessible spaces and safely accessible ways from the outside. That's right. And well, that's why we're building this one. You know, and I and I agree with you about fixing the one up front so it meets. Code oh, you're building a new step, anyways. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a handicap right. it access have, in the front. Right. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't well. have. I shouldn't say that. It doesn't have to be wheelchair accessible, accessible. because we're okay. providing. Okay. okay. That's but it thing. has to be a certain right. certain size step right. okay. for ADA requirements. Which, which, with know, someone like me, you with need a railing, railing, and you need the right. steps to be seven by eleven, okay. and very good. So forth. very good. Well, what, if we're going to bid it, and we're going to find or. We're going to go well, any I further. Guess the, the, we the, might as well add that to it. I, well, the, I would, the, the expert well, you I'm want hearing that right separate. now is that Jason has done I a lot of this homework. Have that I have. Can well, you do the RFP? So, so, I, I, so basically, listen, listen. what I what I found is that there's 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 only two or three people that do this work in the area. Mm -hmm. Okay. The concrete work. So we can send them. A well, request. let's well let's just uh, write up an RFP and send them. Yeah. A request for a okay. bid. Okay. Sooner than yeah. later, yeah. if, if and, I mean, you know, I mean, and also too, uh, what is their timeline? How soon can they? Right. Because here we are in September. That's right. That's right. Oh, I don't think there's. I don't think well, they're going to do it now. I don't know. You I, never know if well, if it could be done. All I'm saying is, I think there's they will have time. Okay. Yeah. If we get it out quick enough. <laughs> booked. All right. Well, yeah, if we can get it done before the end of the month, we're in good business. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. What else? On our uh, that's all I have. Uh, what do you want? You want uh, does anybody else have anything? Okay, let's set the uh, next week's uh, agenda here. Next week, let's have it on next week. Start? Thursday, seven. Next week's the special. Oh, six. Six. This is what well. I have. Um, town website and ACOs in. Town website. Yeah, we can still have our thing And ACO. The other thing we need to fit in here at some point, it doesn't have to be next week, is diesel fuel bids. We need to put our our diesel fuel out for... Casey, do you have all your... Um... Yep. We use about 14,000 gallons a year. Well, we just put it out. We know what we need. No, that was propane and, to put it out. Well, well, I said no. Why don't you just put out the diesel oh. bid and we can look at the bids at that point right. versus saying come back and having us... Let's do that. Just yeah. do it. No, no, I, you posted yours, the propane in the banner? Propane, we've already done it. But it was in the banner though, right? Mm -hmm. the yeah, same just way. provide so. Linda with the information and she'll post and yep. we'll be set. How many places? Just one? For one. fuel? I, I think Darcy does use some uh, oh, kitty fuel? For the generator. Yeah. yeah. She's well, a diesel we, generator. We, we, we're we're going to have them both. Uh, yeah, just set them because that's the way we did up. It's a the flat program. rate for the town panel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You the can find out from DZ, Diesel. Yeah, Darcy. And that's uh, next Thursday. What right. amount yeah. she uses a year? Because uh, they you get a basis on one year because you know this this is fluctuating type thing. Uh, no, I, I think know, no. I, I so like, like I locking in for a year at this price. Is that? Uh, we'll get. We'll see who's got the right price right now. I can tell you what's going to come down. Well, that is come down to two, uh, two, two of them. Uh, yeah. The seventeenth, you want the solar panel yeah. in yeah. for the yeah. solar presentation. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. However, and if it if it holds well and we keep it there, uh, I'm going to contact him uh, with the tell so him that's 14, the date. So fourteen thousand a year is what we've been using. Okay. And that'll be at seven p.m. A little shy of that. Exactly. Because they, uh, no, it's not the school. That's that's we're, town we're and fire department. They don't want. We're not it's just in the F Valley Fire Department. We're not meeting. Uh, yeah, but they and, the and that's point, that's uh, including that because uh, right. Right. that's where they get their fuel. It's our tanks. Okay. Uh, what's anybody have anything else? Any agenda yep. items? Any agenda well, items? Anything? Yeah, well, are we going to put this um, sidewalk? We're going to uh, have that for next week. Hey. I well, have no trouble with mo mo making a motion if that's what you need. Yeah. But basically, have uh, Jason write up the RFP and set, and work with Linda and send it out. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. And, yeah. Versus and, us uh, talking about it again next week. I mean, week. if you're in a hurry, right. well then let's. Okay. If, if Jason, I mean, if, Jason, you're the one that's got to do it. We can. You? I can. I can. We can have it for tomorrow. I'll have okay. your paperwork okay. tomorrow. All right. So All right. then, at that point, you'll yep. have bids. Okay. And if everything okay. happens the way we want, next week and we'll put look. the bids down. Why for can't we? 
Yeah. We won't have it that fast. But the seventeenth, but you can put it on the seventeenth, seventeenth, right? Yeah. Two weeks away. Right. Just put uh, that's that on. The fastest it. that can happen. So let's do that. Let's just say that you look at the bids for the handicap on the seventeenth. Okay, okay. Well, we'll do it on the seventeenth. And then we don't see why you prove it. You got you got three people to call. I'm sure that they would have a bid in here for next week. Well, it's okay with me. I mean, all right. Well, uh, I, I mean, when it's coming. I mean, that's either it. you fix it or you so don't. So, if nobody has any, anything uh, else, it sounds like they were still talking. Uh, you got, Jason. You can. I'm going to leave feel. it up to him. You could get a feel for the people. We can. We could. There, there are basically three people. three concrete guy people in the area that do the site of work, and we can call the three of them and say, "Have a come over, look at it." And, they want to do what we want to do, and, and before you we want a price per. We want it. We Just, want yep. it figured right down. Worst to, happens, we'll have to, to a uh, square foot price installed. Make a spec right. first before you have yeah. somebody come and looking at it, because they want to make sure everybody's bidding yeah. the same. We have that. We have yeah, you got that. Okay, you got it. I, I'm going to make a motion. I I, I move that we uh, uh, get uh, three three or however many people you can find um, here take a look at this uh, uh, project. Uh, and have the bids in for next week, if possible. I'll second that. Can do that. If possible. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Make it happen. Okay. With that, I'll take it. Um, I make a motion we adjourn. Second. We're good. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Thank you very much. I mean, if you're in a hurry for that thing.